Hi everybody, welcome for the video number 4. So first video we looked into the application of DNA profiling and the second video we look at the DNA, how the DNA is a coding and non-coding regions, what's important of non-coding regions and the third video we looked at how we can use non-coding regions for DNA profiling, especially a short tandem repeat. Now this last video we're going to look into how we do uh, DNA profiling in the lab, the technique. Right now first thing is we get the DNA, uh, suitable sample of a DNA. And when we get the DNA we can do a gel electrophoresis. Give me this color. Okay, gel electrophoresis. So gel electrophoresis, we use agarose gel. Agarose gel electrophoresis. So in agarose gel electrophoresis, uh, we have a, a tank here. That's gel running tank. And onto the tank, we have this. Uh, cathode and anode and we have uh, the electrical supply power supply so next we uh, place our gel and these gels we have uh, the suitable wells to load the gels and the DNA sample after preparations we have some kind of small preparations and then this gel sample is loaded into the wells Then the tank is filled with the buffer solution because buffer solution can uh, maintain the electrical current because electrical current is running and we can show from this way to this way. So when the electric pass, when you switch on the power supply, the current pass from the, you can see here, the another picture. So it's a good picture here, you can see a gross gel and the power supply and sample loaded into the gels and then uh, we can uh, switch on the electrical field is generated now and the cathode to anode, right? So then uh, when we run this gel that's a cathode, that's an anode the samples start to run the samples start to run based on the size of the band, which we uh, have been uh, that has been cut previously with restriction endonucleases and the possible molecular weight, and also the nature of the agarose gels. That means the size of the holes in the agarose gels. So after some time, a uh, period of time when you stop the gels, the large bands. Uh, maybe you can see here and the small bands uh, they run far from this side so large bands are here and the small bands are here so we can get this gel out of this so when you get out of gels uh, it looks like this so our gel bands are here like this way that's the gel Gel. So we can visualize this gel using a UV light, uh, especially when we load the gels we can use special marker for example ethylidium bromide or cybergreen and then we, when you use this kind of a markers we can visualize directly. But later on if you really want to see the confirm this is the band of a particular gene so we go for the southern blotting. The technique called southern blotting. In southern blotting, uh, what we can do, we can soak this gel in 0 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solutions. So during this process, uh, DNA double strand is denatured and it becomes a single strand. 
okay, sodium hydroxide can break the hydrogen bonds and it denature and then you get a single bond. After that, uh, we can place this gel into a, another membrane called a nitrocellulose membrane. That's a nitrocellulose membrane. And again, we can apply uh, two plates below and above this. And we can apply a suitable uh, current like before. And then the current is passing through it. This DNA is passing into the nitrocellulose membrane. Let's say that is the, the DNA and this DNA is moving to the nitrocellulose membrane. Or this DNA is a nitrocellulose membrane. So once you've done this one, uh, it's in the nitrocellulose membrane, the bands, and you can expose to a UV light. When you expose to UV light, these bands make a covalent bond with the nitrocellulose membrane. So the next step, I can show you a DNA is like this and make that's a nitrocellulose membrane and the DNA band is like this. I just get a few fragments of DNA C, C, G, A. So we can uh, form the complementary sequence for that one it could be A is a T, it's a A and G and G and C and A here and this complementary sequence uh, we can still uh, visualize with a uh, uh, couple with another uh, dye to visualize so if they bind here to our specific region that's the hydrogen bonds and then uh, we can visualize whether it's uh, really bound to the complementary sequence by checking the color of that one in the southern plotting. So finally, uh, we can see that one and also if we have a bands, so I can show you the bands like this. So if you run a gel and that's a father and that's a mother, that's a child one, child two, child three, what you can see you compare the bands, the position of the bands and the size of the band. Let's say father and child one, it's the same and uh, mother at the same here and this child this band this band same and this third child you can see there's no matching band from father but it's matching with the mother so that's not the biological father then for this son this son and uh, third son is not biological father because it's uh, not matching uh, all these DNA bands with the father DNA so we can compare the DNA sequence of the band pattern to check in the gels or maybe in the southern blood technique or specific sequence uh, to check the DNA profiling. So that's uh, DNA profiling, uh, all about DNA profiling. Thank you very much.